hey guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to show you how to use the dragon ik on a horse it's very tricky to set up a horse and get it right and i'm going to use this horse anim set from uh, melbourne animations uh, if you don't have that you could um, you don't have to use this or you could just use any other um, horse characters or animations uh, but you need to have this plugin uh, in order to uh, go through this tutorial So this is a beautiful project, that person project. Um, so make sure you install the plugin. The plugin will show up here, and you have to restart after you enable it. Uh, I'm sure you know how to do that. I also have the horse anim set pro added to my project as well. Um, but you can use any other horse animations and horse character. Um, so I'm going to quickly um, switch the uh, player character to horse so that I can walk around. Uh, with the horse quickly so it's easy to you know see the differences All right so i'm gonna go to uh third person character go to mesh and then i'm gonna change this to horse so i think i'm gonna pick this one All right so um now i have to make the animation so i'm gonna go to oh the the horse skeleton right click create Anim blueprint. I'm gonna name it anim bp underscore horse. Okay, and I'm gonna add that to my mesh. There you go. Um, now I'm going to open this. Also, I'm gonna open the um, the third person anim blueprint. So I'm gonna pretty much copy whatever is there. Uh, if I can find it, uh, let me see. There you go. This one. Right, so I'm going to copy the event graph from the character animation blueprint to horse uh, horse blueprint. So here, delete this. All right, compile. I have error, but okay. So once you get error, is in here. Right click a variable, create the variable, create the speed variable. I wonder if they have default value for it. No, nope. All right, we're fine. So that compiles fast. So this is done. Now we're going to copy the the ending graph from the character, which is the default. Copy this and put it here. Connect this, and then I'm going to go in there. I'm going to delete the jump because I'm not going to for this tutorial. I'm not going to use the jump. I'm not going to set up the jump because this has nothing to do with Dragon IK. Um, but I do have to create this um, this uh, 1D blend space. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this, and I'm gonna go to the the horse animations folder, or you can put it wherever you want. Right click animation, um, blend space 1D, and I'm gonna pick the horse skeleton. I'm gonna name it BS underscore horse underscore moves. Okay, and then I'm gonna open it. So I'm gonna copy this spec from here to there. So the name is speed, maximum is 375, and that's pretty much it. And um, the first I need idle. The first one. And I'm gonna use walk. Then I'm going to use trot. I'm going to sprint. Close that. Close this. And I'm going to change this to what I just created. This should work. Yeah, that's what you need pretty much. Uh, also, I'm going to go to the um, the horse character movement and filter for what? and the max walk speed is 100 so that when i walk around i'm not running so if i play this now i should be able to there you go there you go. i'm walking right now yeah that's exactly what i need so let's set up the stage i'm going to delete this 
This is not realistic for a horse, but I'm going to let me see if I can find grass. Okay, so I'm going to quickly create a terrain and create this. And I think this is unnecessary though, but let's see. But this is interesting. I'm going to remove the walls and the floor. All right, so I'm on the ground. All right, let's see how it behaves now. All right. All right, let's let's look at the feet. How it looks. Now this horse thinks he's walking on a flat surface all the time and partially can define gravity. Part of his body. See this? So it's like always walking on a flat surface, especially going down the hill. All right. So this is a problem, right? It's not realistic at all. Okay, so we have the plugin installed. Number one, number two, we need to add. If I go to any blueprint, we go here. We have to add something in between these two. So it was um, dragon binary solver and dragon food solver. Okay. I'm going to um, drag that and create a make dragon data mail input and it will go here as well and this is going to be the pelvis this is going to start spine and I'm going to create a variable out of this this is the um, uh, fit map okay, let's go to the skeleton uh, and go to show no character bones all hierarchy so this is going to be the, our pelvis and this is going to be our um, star spine the first one is the is the joint that joins all the bones to the the back side of the legs which is this um, it's pelvis right this one uh, copy the name and put it here and this one which is fine two right this joint that joins all the bones so now i'm going to input the fit information So this one is going to be the front foot. It's going to be this joint, just just the one below the uh, knee. Copy that. Put it on the first one, and then copy the put the same thing and change its name because it's pretty much same name, and do that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the the back leg take this bone copy get two more items and put it here all right we're done with that now connect this here and connect that there all right let's see how it looks now make sure you save your project so this is a basic setup right all right so it should improve oh there you go see that hey you see the difference now the horse thinks he's walking on a hill not better right he still has some of these uh the knee bending issues right but we can tweak that later but this is way better than before as you see it's very realistic right now and there you go, not better, right? Look at this, so beautiful. All right, let's tweak this. Um, so we're done with the skeleton at this moment. Go to food solver. And I'm gonna disable this last two. All right, so we're gonna click on the spine solver and search for placement, filter for placement, and I'm gonna disable this accurate fit placement. 
this is only this setting is only for horse by the way and then go to the feet map change feet rotation limit to 59 also the um the knee direction offset is going to be for y-axis is going to be 500 and the front is going to be the knee direction for both of the front legs is going to be um zero five hundred zero for the knee direction offset and the feet rotation limit is going to be 59 for the rear legs is going to be minus 500 and this is going to be 25 25 um another thing you can do is the alpha change the alpha to 0 0.9 and you can do is if speed is greater than zero then select I'm going to grab this and put it to this alpha. The speed is greater than zero, then it's going to be 0 0.5. And when it's idle, it's going to be one. So this is the setting. So this should improve pretty much the knee bending issues. All right, let's give it a try. All right, let's give it a try. Uh, you shouldn't see the, uh, the front leg knee bending the opposite way see this it's a lot better now it's not causing any issues it's almost flawless there you go hey there's like a few issues since we disabled the accurate uh, feet placement there's like a few gaps there but that's livable but you know you don't have any other leg bending or big issues that we previously had uh, it respects the terrain goes up and down and yeah so that's pretty much it uh, i hope you guys found it useful and good luck